I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Virginia Bongera from East Presence Ministries, Nyatime Mega Church. It is wonderful to be in the presence of the Lord as a family once again. I would like to thank our Apostle, Mom Commissioner Petrinia Chilise, the senior pastors, pastors, ministers, elders, all church leaders, and the church at large for according me this time to teach the word. When we hear the word, when we meditate on the word, and when we act upon the word, God makes us prosperous. So receive the word today in Jesus' name. In continuation with our teachings on loyalty and disloyalty, today I'm going to share on catching the vision of the heart. Catching the vision of His Presence Ministries International Church and you being part of the HPMI family and the Board of Christ at large. Our God Himself is a vision for the world which is salvation for all mankind Hence the Great Commission, Matthew 28, verse 17 to 20, which says, Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Different churches have different visions, but they all point to salvation of mankind. When God created man, the purpose was for man to worship him in truth and in spirit. God is the one who gives visions to different ones. God gave our apostles Charles and Petunia Chiriseri the HPMI vision, which is restoring lives, raising champions, transforming families, communities, cities, and nations based on 1 Samuel 22, verse 1 and 2, and 2 Samuel 23, verse 8 to 39. I'm reading from Samuel 1, 22, verse 1 and 2. David therefore departed thence to the cave of Adalom, and when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him. And everyone that was in distress, and everyone that was in debt, and everyone that was discontented gathered themselves unto him, and he became a captain over them, and they were with him over 400 men. The mandate of his presence, Ministries International, is to make sure lives are restored, champions are raised, and families, cities, and nations are transformed by the manifest presence of God. Our mandate is to make sure the presence of God reaches all these places. The word of God in Habakkuk 2 verse 3 says, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets, that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Our God is the giver of visions to his anointed ones. When he gives them a vision, he anoints the work, provides the grace for that vision to come to pass. God anoints the work on the basis of a good heart and not doing it to please men. Every church has a specific vision and assignment. Different churches have different missions and assignments God has given them to fulfill. 
our apostle Charles Tirsen said, I quote, Econet is a specific assignment. They do not do what Lobos does, although they all doing things to make people sing. This presence ministry is international was sent to fulfill an assignment and our assignment is to restore lives, raise champions, transform families, communities, cities and nations. There is so much brokenness, the reason people drink, womanize, sleep around, commit suicide, commit murder, because there is emptiness in their lives. And are driven to this, they have no power to stop this. They need you and me, and the vision is to restore them. They are waiting for a family member, workmate, neighbor, to come and lift them up. And this is our mandate. Close quote. How do we catch the vision of the house? The word of God in Proverbs 29 verse 18 says, Where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained. But happy is he who keeps the law. At this juncture, I want to explain what vision means. Vision in simple terms is when you see something and begin to imagine it. It is what the mission will look like when it is lived out in your church and community. Vision at the end will speak. It is like a compass directs you. You can't be found going in all directions. Vision is the magnet that attracts followers. Our building pattern should act as a magnet. The way we do things, the way we carry ourselves. Joseph got a vision in a dream, and today we read about how he was elevated in a foreign land and was able to save his family and nations. Moses got a vision for salvation from God at Mount Sinai, and the Ten Commandments were delivered to him, which he put in writing, and up to today, they are our guidelines to day to day holy living. Vision is a desired change or end result. It is your final dream for your church. And in our case, when you see many lives being restored, champions raised, families, communities, cities, and nations transformed, we know that the vision is thriving. Our Apostle Petunia Chiriseri, in describing the end product of his presence, Ministries International, I quote, when you step into the escalator called HPMI, whatever the devil meant for evil in your life, God is turning it for good. God is saying, I'll anoint your life. The vision for the house is the escalator to take you to the top. You are the cream. It doesn't matter which way you have been placed, as long as you are in this house, you remain on top, you have an anointing for cream. This is the grace in HPMI. Vision defines what your permanent address is, or your destination, which for us is restored lives, championship, and transformed families, communities, cities, and nations. Another ingredient needed for vision to thrive is unity. Vision cannot be accomplished by the visionary alone. It requires workers who are to totally sold to the vision. 
Also, Charles Chelsea, I quote, said, This vision requires people with a sense of agency. This vision requires people with a sense of agency. Radical prayer warriors and worshippers until the kingdom is established. HPMI is the cave of Adlan. Champions will be raised. Men and women who will stand with the visionaries, just like Moses was given people to bear the burden with him. Numbers 11, verse 16 to 17, and it reads, The Lord said to Moses, Gather to me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom you know, those the elders of the people and officers over them. Bring them to the tabernacle of the meeting, that they may stand with you. Then I will come down and talk with you there. I will take the spirit that is upon you and will put the same upon them and they shall bear the burden of the people with you, that you may not be it alone. We cannot bear the vision alone, just as the blueprint given by God, that people carry the vision with the apostles. Sonship determines growth of the church despite their gifts. They perpetuate the vision, even when their father is gone. Close quote. If you are to thrive in HPMI, you have to be loyal to God first, loyal to the visionaries, and loyal to the leadership of the church. Otherwise, if there is no loyalty, vision will be difficult to fulfill. Bishop Doug Heward Mills, I quote, says, you need to take into the anointing of the house. And this you do by listening more and more to the preachings of your visionaries and reading their church materials. And for HPMI, we have preachings from our apostles and the book, The Twelve Foundations of Marriage. Respect the man, woman of God that has been put charge over your life. Without loyalty, there is so much discord, and you may not catch the bigger picture. When you choose to operate in the anointing of the house, you become part of. You become part of the vision, and work will be easy because God is the one who gives grace to a particular church. For you to catch the vision of the house. You need to receive the visionary and catch the anointing that is in his or her life. It's the principal thing that you need to do God's work. Zachariah knew that the most thing that was important was the anointing. In the book of Zechariah 4 verse 6 says, So he said to me, This is the word of the Lord. To Zerubbabel, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. The principle does not change. What worked for the great men of God will work for you. The spirit of catching the anointing through reading different materials by your visionaries is a time tested proven principle. I close quote. Keys to teaching and being loyal to the vision of the house. Keys to teaching and being loyal to the vision of the house. Number one, loyal to the vision entails getting information, putting it into practice. Not acting on information, no matter how powerful or life changing, will bring no results. The HPMI bloodline is to get information and act upon it. Hallelujah. Number two, 
A willing heart is required to join the arm of the Lord. Number three, identity with the vision. I'm going to restore lives. I'm going to raise champions. I'm going to transform families, communities, cities, and nations. Number four, be a defender of the HPMI vision. Put time frames, plans on how you are going to achieve your goals in participation to the vision. Joseph stayed on course when he would have been crushed and bent. Sight, unbelief, doubt, fear with faith. Overcome problems with perseverance. Beat temptation with integrity, which is one of our values. Resist resentment with forgiveness. Number five, share the vision with your encouragers who will make you, who will make you remain focused. This is very important. Share the vision with your encouragers who will make you remain focused. And this is very important. You should be willing to put your life for the vision, your savings for the vision. One politician going for elections declared victory or death. This is how committed you should be to the vision of the house. If no one is prepared to go with you, you should still follow what God mandated you to do. Daily prayer for the vision is important by all involved, especially leadership, so that God can help the church to grab the vision. Pray without ceasing. Our God commands us. If on course vision will make you, you can't miss the vision. You cannot afford to operate the same way as if nothing has happened. Vision will make you do things in a certain way, eat a certain diet. If you find yourself not doing anything towards restoring lives, raising champions, Transforming families, communities, cities, and nations, you really need to refocus. Your behavior patterns should change. Bishop Doug Heward Mills, example on maintenance of vision, I quote, he says, A woman on a hunt because of her mission, she behaves in a certain way. She will dress in a certain manner, smile and speak in a particular way, and even talks in a kind, nice way to get to a target because of your wish to impress. Vision is maintained long enough until you get your target. You have to allow the vision to make you, put you on a radar, and you have to keep on doing it to maintain the vision. Vision will make you do certain things for a long time. You eventually achieve your goals and get results. For example, our mandate of one soul per month. Imagine if we all would make sure every month we receive one soul in, into the church from each member. How would our church look like today? Vision makes you maneuver change things, take this, do that, and keep going. For example, before the COVID-19 pandemic, we were enjoying fellowship in our big auditoriums. But when it hit the nations, because of the vision, we did not throw towels. But as believers who have a mandate, we maneuvered and started to use social media platform to continue with the vision of restoring lives. Number 16. 
all these directions that you have been taking, no one but the vision will be leading you. 17. Criticism will come, but do not despair. You should be on your father's business. The book of Luke 2, verse 49, when Jesus' parents were looking for him, when he was young, he said to them, Why do you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Young people, this is a challenge for you. You need to start now and run to fulfill the vision. Number 19. Leadership should ensure there is minimal gap between them and the church so that leadership do not end up running alone. You should flow together as a team. 20. Vision comes with a challenge, but when you are loyal, you get direction from the anointing in the house. A healthy church does not forget their vision. They keep on reminding each other of their purpose on this planet. Earth. So they remain vigilant on serving God through the vision of the house. Number 22. Do not stop moving towards the vision. No matter what storms, keep moving toward what God has called you to do. The vision of the house can be related to a family setup. Like sons, sons in a family setup obey and respect their parents. Sons do not need follow up to do things, but they know what needs to be done at home and they know they have to do it. The Maposa family are well known in the area for cattle farming and the Duves are also known in the area for maize production. They know the seasons. They know what to do for them to produce those bump harvests. They know when to plant. They know the materials they need. Same with the vision. Catch the vision of his presence next to the nation. Our ministry impact towards the bigger vision for salvation is seen by our growth in what we have said we are known for, which is lives restored, champions raised, families, communities, cities, and nations transformed. The vision will keep you energized. You will not grow old or be weary because you will be running in the grace of the Lord. The vision should make you recruit others. Apostle Charles Chilsev said, I quote, When someone gives their lives to Christ, emphasize to them that they should bring their relatives. That's how we grow. An HPMA son will defend their vision, defend their visionary, honor their leaders, and follow instructions fully. When Moses was leading the Israelites to the promised land, he told them interesting things. He said, whatever it takes to enter the land, do it. Meaning, be focused Know where you're going. Be prepared to pay the price. When others are saying it cannot be done, you say it can be done. This attitude must be in us with HPMI son. Radical ministers do not ask what God can do for them, but what they can do for God. Do not worry about what you do not have to accomplish this vision, for God is ready to equip you. I praise God. The vision of the house should be your alarm clock. His Presence Ministries International Vision is a clear pattern, and everyone should know and understand it. Unit of purpose mixed with faith will help accomplish the goals, so make sure you are in one accord in all that you do. God gives vision to the visionary for the house. 
he does not give to different people in the same church to enable unity and avoid division. When you find yourself starting your own programs other than those from the pattern given by the visionaries and leadership, this means that we are bringing discord and division to the Church of the Living God. I will move on to the impact of the vision to those that have a sonship spirit. As you align with the vision, the vision will create resources for the church and for your personal life. Full participation in the vision brings full fulfillment and your life is transformed to greater heights. Full participation in the vision brings fulfillment and your life is transformed to greater heights. You also grow spiritually and in stature. The Book of Habakkuk instructs the church to make the vision plain so that those that read it may run with it. Our HPMI vision has been made clear and very plain. We have a mission, values, purpose, and passions. Our vision is restoring lives, raising champions, transforming families, communities, cities, and nations. Our mission is taking the presence, the manifest presence of God to empower families, communities, cities, and nations. Exodus 33 verse 14. Our mission is, to, is taking the manifest presence of God to empower families, communities, cities, and nations. Exodus 33 verse 14 where God said to Moses, my presence will go with you and I'll give you rest. We have the presence of God. So we should rise up and go. We have values in this presence means is international and our post of Virginia Chiristeri has summarized our seven values to two was so in. I'll go through the values. Number one, commitment. We need to be sons, daughters who are totally sold out to the vision. Number two, communication. We need to be good communicators. We are one body and we need each other. And there's need to market the vision of the house. Number three, excellence. The God we serve is a God of excellence. So whatever we do for God, we should do it with reverence and honor. When we are in the marketplace, we should always be aware that we represent God. Number four, accountability. We should be accountable to the leaders, to the church, to our families and communication is key. Communication is the bloodline of every church and even in our families. Loyalty number five. We should be loyal to God, loyal to our visionaries, loyal to the church, loyal to the family and loyal to the society. Humility. Our God uses humble people. Our God hates pride. Our lives should be filled with humility because humility will enable us to reach out to the lost. And number seven, integrity. We represent God. We represent the church. We represent our families. So we should represent them well in the marketplace. We should be people of good character and of good report. 
Our purpose as His presence means to international is to minister to God, to minister to one another, and to minister to the world. Passions. Number one, God's manifest presence. Prayer. The word. Worship. Saving the Lord. Work. Creating wealth for the vision. Soul winning. Missions. Godly families. And giving. We also have seven pillars of society where we expect our champions after being raised to venture into the marketplace and put light in those areas of the nations. We have the family pillar, which is our cutting edge where we expect to produce godly families. We have politics, media, education, business, arts and health. His presence means to international is a discipleship shake called Transform Your World Leadership Institute, FILI, which offers different courses to empower its members from the moment they receive Christ up to degree level. We also have empowerment zones which cater for all our members. We have the children's ministry called Champions, teens called Signers, young adults called History Makers, singles, network called Arise and Shine, couples called Marriage Transformation, ladies called the Shekinah Ministry, men called the Mighty Men Ministry, and a powerful praise and worship team called Youth Music. In conclusion, I'll give Apostle Charles Chiriseri summary of the vision, and I quote, his presence means his international vision is to save nations done by imparted, anointed men and women who will go out there to preach, to teach, and to heal the sick. You will not experience God's power until you go. When you are out of your comfort zone, you will realize what is inside of you. Receive people and when we bring people, help them to receive Christ Jesus. Send them back to call others. Tell them quickly to go and get their relatives and friends to receive Jesus too. The sense of emergence is needed. We are enjoying now come out of that comfort zone. Build strong families and cultivate a sense of belonging. Realize that things cannot be done alone. Close quote. I'll end up this session by praying. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the time you have allowed us to reflect and recommit ourselves to the vision that you have called us to fulfill. We apologize, Lord, for staying in our comfort zones whilst many are dying and going to hell. Help us to have a sense of urgency as we partake of this vision. Lord, refocus us so that we may do that which is right in your eyes. We pray for the grace to run and to finish. We thank you, Lord, for giving us another chance to make right with you. Bless every family that 
is participated in this service. We thank you, Lord, for these times of refreshment, and we don't take them for granted. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the honor, and we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you.